Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn video. In this video we'll be looking at how liquid crystal display projectors work. In another video we'll be looking at the other type of projector which is a DLP projector um, but for this video we'll just be focusing on LCD projectors. Okay let's get started. So before we start looking at the actual process let's introduce the components of a projector, of an LCD projector. Well first of all you've got a bulb uh, this is the light, main light source for the whole projector. It's an incredibly bright bulb and its job is just to emit white light. Then we've got some dichroic mirrors and they're quite special these mirrors because each uh, dichroic mirror will reflect certain wavelengths of light and let other wavelengths of light pass through. And they're really important. You'll see what they do in a moment. So we've got some dichroic mirrors. Then we've got some regular mirrors. These are just used to bounce the light around uh, to put them in the light in the right place, direct it to the right place. Uh, then we've got some LCD arrays, liquid crystal display arrays. And now these are really, really important uh, because these are the parts that actually make the image itself rather than just the light. Uh, then we've got a dichroic prism. And the idea of that prism is it combines all the light at the end, which we'll see in a minute. And then when the light comes out of the dichroic prism, it's then magnified by a lens in the projector, which then displays, uh, the, the light goes off and displays on a screen, usually about three to five meters away from the projector itself. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual projection process. Okay, so the first thing that happens is light is emitted from the bulb. And this light emits from the bulb and it hits the first of the dichroic mirrors the first one is the red dichroic mirror, which means it only reflects the red light. So the red light gets reflected and that bounces off another mirror and goes through the first of the LCD arrays and into the dichroic prism. And you can see on the left, the other wavelengths of light, the blue and the green, they pass on through and they hit the next of the dichroic mirrors, which is the green dichroic mirror. And this only reflects the green wavelengths of light and that green light then passes through the second LCD array and into the prism as well. Then finally the blue light then carries on, hits a couple more mirrors and then passes through another LCD array before going into the prism itself. Inside of the dichroic prism all three of those different wavelengths are combined together and then they are they come out of the other side of the prism hit the lens which then magnifies the image and sends it off to the display. So now you can see how each of the separate wavelengths are separated out and then pass through the LCDs and then combine together at the end. But now we need to look at what's actually happening inside of the LCD itself. So the LCD array is a grid of pixels millions of pixels and these pixels are polarized and semi-transparent and depending on the amount of electricity uh, voltage that's applied to each of the pixels the amount of polarization will vary and therefore the amount of light that each pixel lets through will also vary and this is really important if we're going to create an actual image rather than just combining the three original signals back together and then just displaying a white image on the screen. We need to be able to vary the brightness of each of the red, green and blue components so that an image can be displayed. And that's the job of the LCD array. What happens is each LCD array ha is polarized separately. Each individual component is polarized separately so that when the light passes through, there's going to be about a different amount of brightness that comes out of the, the other end. So for instance, here we've got the red, the green and the blue component. And if you look at the polarization of the blue here, you can see that here on the sides of the image, it's quite dark and not letting a lot of the blue light through. So in, in this particular part of the pixel array here, that will be on the LCD array. Then you can see that it's not going to let a lot of light through from the blue parts here, but at the top of the image, then it's you can see where obviously the sky is blue, it's going to let a lot of the blue light through. And if you look here on my boardwalk here, 
it's really, really bright. And that's because this boardwalk is quite red, so we're going to need to let a lot of red light through there. But there's not a red, lot of red in the sky, so the sky is darker. And in terms of green light, you can see, well, it's pretty balanced. All of the trees around here in the mangroves trees, these are fairly bright because there's going to be plenty of green. A little bit of green in the sky as well, but not a lot there because it's a lot darker. These mountains, although they are green, they're a lot darker. And there we go, each of the channels. And what happens is each of the channels then gets combined inside of the prism so that your final image is displayed. And you can see it there. You've got the green. There was plenty of green on the outside before. You've got this boardwalk, which is quite red, so that was bright. And then you've got the blue skies here at the top. So that's how the LCDs um, filter out certain amounts of light on each of the channels separately so that when they're combined together, it displays a full color image. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's just do a quick review of the process. So first of all, a single bright light source is split into separate colors or wavelengths using dichroic mirrors. The separate colors then pass through an array of individually polarized LCD pixels, and each of those pixels are polarized by providing a voltage to each pixel. The separate colors are then combined into a single light source using a dichroic prism, and then the light passes through a magnifying lens and it is then projected onto a separate screen, usually about three to five meters from the projector. Okay, so that's how LCD projectors work. In a future video, I'll be looking at the other type of projector, which is quite common, which is the DLP projector or digital light projector. And we'll be looking at how they work and comparing the two different types of projectors, their pros and cons. Okay, if you did like the video, please like it. And if you like my channel, then please subscribe. Thank you very much.